All right, now, as you know, the $1.8 trillion family plan will be revealed tonight as the president addresses Congress. Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn with us now. Senator, the president's plan directs trillions of dollars to families and children. So why are you calling it the anti-family plan? Stuart, it is the anti-family plan, and as Hillary just said, trillions in tax increases. You know, we used to talk about a billion here, a billion there. With Joe Biden, it's a trillion here and a trillion there. Plus, what this would do is incentivize women <clears throat> to rely on the federal government to organize their lives. It takes away from them the ability to organize their family life as they would like to organize it. I, I thought about, remember that old life of Julia that Barack Obama came out with and the New York Times and everybody yeah. panned it. This is ridiculous. Well, this is what they are doing, but they're breaking it apart in separate little pieces, three-year-old pre-K, they're going to mandate this. Two years of college, whether you like it or not. These are the things that take away choices from the American people. They give them a great big fat tax bill that they are going to pay. It means they're going to have less take-home pay in that paycheck every month. And the government is just saying, we're going to take our share first and foremost, up your taxes. And all of these businesses, small businesses, mom and pop shops that are there on Main Street that we're looking to expand, they're not going to be able to do that because the cap gains rate which directly affects all these small business employers, all of these small business manufacturers. They're in rural America, small towns. This is something that will be a gut punch to these economies. Yes. This is something that favors the urban, it favors the rich, it favors the elitist, it favors those that want power and control over every single minute of your day. It is disgusting. But in an evenly divided Senate, he's not going to get all of the proposals get, get through the Senate. I mean, there's no way. In a 50-50 split Senate, you can't do that. Well, God help us all. I hope that we're able to block every single bit of this. 2022 cannot get here fast enough so that we see Republicans regain control of the House and the Senate. These guys are trying to do a fast drive to socialism, upping your taxes, yes, federalizing agree. elections, packing the courts, the Green New Deal. It is unbelievable the way they're trying to radically transform this country and quite honestly people are they don't know if Joe Biden is really in control of this or if it is his staff and the old Obama team that are making these decisions this does not serve the American people well and I'm going okay. to fight it every uh step of the way that was going to be my closing comment. You're going to fight this every step of the way, I can tell. And you, you brought passion to the it. table this morning. Senator Blackburn, Absolutely. thanks for joining us. We appreciate yes. it. Come back soon. Thank you.